Hello, uh, this is a uh, very orange bit of paper. I think I had this clever idea that I was going to use the orange. I always seem to do that. It's quite an orangey bit of galaxy at the bottom of this picture. But then, I, I, <laughs> oh, it's it's been an inspiration, I guess, if nothing else, because it mostly covered it. I think almost entirely covered it. Doesn't matter. Um, yeah, this is a picture of a nebula mostly. Um, it's quite a red nebula. I wonder where it is. I really ought to ask the person who did it. I don't think he's seen the picture yet, uh, so we'll see. When he when he picks up, he might say it's where it's from, and then I'll know. Unless anybody who watches this video knows where this nebula is and has been here. The only purple and pink one I've been to is the veil, and it's not that. Unless it's a funny angle. But anyway, uh, quite red, and it's got these purpley bluish striations across it here and there. I quite enjoyed doing a nebula. They're quite fun. It's de de deceptively complicated when you actually start colouring in the different bits of cloud. If you try and get them right, mind you, I, I rarely quite managed to get them accurate. But yeah, my big problem is I seem to have run out of black chalk for quite a lot of... I know, I found some in the end, I think. Right at the end, I bang a bit of black chalk on. Anyway, uh, I've got nothing clever to say about this, except I enjoy nebulas. I go to nebulas even though as an explorer, I should go for the uh, the distant, far out, undiscovered type places. But but nebulas are so pretty, <laughs> and you can take lovely screenshots there. They're so nice. I always enjoy that. And the, the way that this this command has managed to uh, capture the galaxy looking almost as bright as nebula suggests to me this is quite near the centre. Except that there didn't seem to be any stars uh, in the picture, apart from the ones. Uh, uh, all across the centre of the paper in big bright white stripe. But I mean, apart from those, yeah, there didn't seem to be any visible isolated stars. Uh, I've not done a particularly good job on the galaxy here, because well, although it did look pretty intense, I, I normally try and make make the actual galaxy look a little bit more wispy and, and distant, and but it's where it's quite chunky here. Is, <laughs> Um, so I'm, I'm not sure if I would do it exactly like this if I did this picture again. Anyway, this is a DBX uh, that's flying potentially towards that nebula. And it looks a bit funny because I spent the first bit of time drawing it thinking this looks like a fat sparrow. I'd never really looked at him from that angle before. He's got his back feet out there. Look, look at his little back feet and there's his little perky little beak there on the front. I don't know, he's, he's just making me laugh. Uh, but yeah, I like a DBX. I've got one, but I just I'm too greedy for modules, so I don't use it as often as I could. I tell you what I like about the DBX. It's the um, it's the wings, the the, the 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 beetle wing things that it has on the top. That when you land, they sort of fold up, they shuffle down again, and I, I think that's really smart. That looks really cool. If I want to get somewhere fast, and I'm in the bubble and I'm just nipping, then I will definitely use DBX. But for long distance or if I'm actually expecting to be able to do much somewhere. I, I, I tend to use my Phantom these days, even though I've got a really nice, you know, kitchen sink uh, exploration cutter, which I, I, I have really enjoyed using. But that's it's very much a, a posing ship, isn't it? <laughs> Where you want to take a photograph of your, your iridescent hull gleaming off some black hole. Anyway, this one was good fun to do, and um, it didn't take as long as, as some some do because uh, it's mostly just colouring, which is nice. So when I've got lots of panels and plates and details, that makes it hard. Anyway, thanks for watching. I really appreciate when any anyone does. It's, it's, it's very kind. <laughs>